My name is Alan Furlong, and uh, I've just realised what it's like to tee off after Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is pretty nerve-wracking. And it's, it's nerve-wracking for me, even though I've done a lot of presentations, um, because the people in the room here are people that uh, Antonio and myself really admire and respect. So I, this feels exactly how it felt when I did my best man speech at my brother's wedding. <laughs> you know, it really mattered and really wanted to get it right. So we're going to tell you a story, we're going to tell you a couple of stories. We're going to tell you where we were at um, in terms of our life. Antonio's going to interrupt me every now and then, so there's nothing new there. <laughs> I'm, I'm really conscious that in this room there's some people as well who are pretty savvy around this whole internet marketing piece. So although we're going to take you through what we think are the key structures that you need to get online successfully, we are going to throw in some sort of cheeky tips, um, which for those experienced internet marketers, Wendy, etc., etc., you know, hopefully you can come away from this and go, yeah, cool, I've learned something with that. So I'm a big believer in keeping it simple because I'm not that bright, you know, and the internet marketing world is just really, really complex because the people behind internet marketing predominantly who started out left brain, logical, love the detail kind of thinkers. We are now starting to see a generation of right brain creative thinkers. So it's starting to change. And I like that because I'm a right brain creative kind of guy and a tutor guy. So I'm going to take you back to November. I'm going to do something extraordinarily dangerous. I've just put percentages up here, not real money because I don't want to frighten anybody. Um, we went to Vanuatu in November to see Brandon. And we were property people. So we bought properties, renovated them, and sold them. And um, Antonio is extremely courageous. Although I'm up here as the mouthpiece, this person has got tremendous courage because she stood up in Vanuatu and said, Brendan, with all due respect to your outsourcing and paying for outsourcing, we're going to die if we outsource. So I'll explain exactly where we were at. Okay, in terms of our assets, we had about 20%, actually I'm going green. Oh, I'll step out of the way in two seconds. So we had 20% in cash. That's our assets in Vanuatu back in November. And in terms of liabilities, we had 80%. Not good. Um, in worse, we had zero income. All our money was tied up in doing these these deals and trying to get them turned over. And as a consequence of that, we had 100% expenses. So the question to you guys is, do you think this is a sustainable business model? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that roar and laugh at that, probably not. But to us, you know, when you're in that kind of group, we thought, man, we're just working our asses off here and, and we, we, we're kind of doing okay. But we knew our, our biggest enemy was time. Um, in February, so I'm just going to move forward. So, Brendan said, guys, are you in the right business? And me and Antonio looked at each other and went, probably not. Probably not. It was a really profound moment. So then what happened was really simple. We started looking at this whole internet marketing thing. But we knew we still had to nail these deals and get them turned over. And then what happened? The whole world decided to explode. Around December, January, you know, it was the end of the world, financial disaster. Unfortunately, I actually knew about it because I used to work in banking and I knew about it a year and a half ago. And a new time was against us. So you can imagine there's a little bit of pressure in the relationship. <laughs> there's a little bit of pressure in the business. Fast forward to February 2009, and this is where we were. Still zero income, still 100% expenses. So put a smile on your face. Yeah. 2% assets. 98% of my friends, we ran out of money. <coughs> it was tough. For both of us. Uh, forgive me because the emotions are still real. <coughs> both of us were suffering through a tough time. Very tough. <coughs> but it was the best thing that ever happened to either of us. Now I ended up in hospital. The biggest problem with me is I'm very driven, which is a great asset and a terrible liability. 
I'm very driven to the point that I actually just broke down. You know, physically knackered, mentally knackered, emotionally knackered. And you know what? It was still the best thing that ever happened to us because our life since then has been completely transformed. So when Brendan says these guys are passionate about internet marketing, we're yeah. dead passionate about it because we believe it has the power to transform people's lives because that's been our experience. It's exactly what's happened to us. You know, and there are people in this room who know exactly what we're talking about. So that process that we went through, and the reason why this is such an important prese presentation for us, is there are people in this room who've been there. There are people in this room who've been there twice. God help us. <laughs> and there are people who are probably on that process themselves. And you know what? It's okay. It really is okay. And Tony was telling me that in China it was this same. I think it's China, correct me if I'm wrong. That clay pots when you dry in the sun are simply clay pots. It's when you put them in the kiln that they become porcelain. And to me, at today, I'm talking to them for porcelain. And that's why this presentation is so important. So, on that note, I'll actually look at my notes for once because I'm terrible for just winging it. So, um, and Antonio, I'll start saying, you're supposed to introduce me here. We got, we got really clear. As you can imagine, from this point, what happened? Antonio, again, be very courageous. We borrowed money from a family member. Was that good for my ego? Absolutely not. Guys are terrible like this. They don't ask for help. And I'm the worst. That took real courage. The next month, bang, the money started coming. How bizarre is that? How bizarre is that? <clears throat> From March onwards, things started to improve. Um, Antonia has been to the US twice. We had three and a half grand left on the credit card. That's all we had left. That paid for Antonia to fly to the US and learn from guys like Yannick Silva and Carrie Wilkinson. Okay? Because if you really believe that this is where you want to go, then you've just got to put everything out there. You know? And I was talking to Anthony, was it? I was talking to Anthony, he was telling me exactly what he went through last year. He you know, sold the house, used the, the income from the house sale for the business. Like, no safety net. And I really believe that as soon as you take your whole safety net away, brother, then this is when things start to happen for you. And that's exactly what happened to us. Now then, let's move on.